Hi folks, uh, welcome along to another video. This is not uh, your usual video, but um, I got this box in the post this morning and actually, believe it or not, I never bought anything off the internet by myself before. And this is the first time, this is my first ever box that I have ever bought off the internet. So uh, let's see what we got. Just uh, opening the top here. Um, I, I I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of people like uh, unboxing videos, you know. So uh, I thought I might do one of my own, you know. Um, I've been waiting since Monday for this, so um, I've been pretty excited, and I was kind of nervous that I do everything right, that I fill in all the form properly and everything, because. <coughs> previous when I bought anything off the internet I needed some help um, because I always filled in something wrong so uh, this is my first time ever that I um, that I bought something off the internet uh, I know uh, a lot of people it's second nature to them it's modern times you buy stuff off the internet because you can't get it in, in the shops and it's handier and stuff right that is a clue to what I have in the box. Here we go. That's the empty box. Here we go. It's an SB, uh, PSB 11 spirit box. Um. You would have seen these in uh, Ghost Adventures and some of those paranormal TV shows. Um, I have never had a spirit box or I have, up until recently, I have never had any piece of paranormal equipment in my hand. I've only seen it on the television. Now, how do I open the box? Oh, here we go. Um, I know people prefer um, the, the uh, SB7. Uh, a uh, spirit box because it's smaller but uh, this particular company that um, I um, bought the um, EMF detector um, didn't have the uh, SB, SB7 so um, I thought I would give this a go you know here we go we got a piece of nice foam padding it's, not, it's nicely nicely padded it's nicely padded in the box you got your instructions um, headphones Duracell 9 volt battery uh, it's good that they're putting good quality batteries into this it shows that they care actually this is quite big here we go and that's the uh, unit itself um, as um, as you probably have gathered I um, I have never had a piece of paranormal equipment in my hand before, so uh, this is all new to me. Um, basically, what I've been told, it, this is like having two SP7s uh, working um, side by side. And actually, on this particular uh, model, which is the SB11, there is a little screw there, so you can put it on a... Uh, on a tripod and um, you've got your antenna some people use it some people don't um, and you've got a little um, a little stand there but um, as you can see there's a little place here where you can actually put it on a tripod or whatever and um, you've got a temperature and you have it there is no digital screen on these um, it's just um, little lights and stuff like that. So uh, let's put some batteries in and see what it's like. Um, as it says, I've never um, had any experience of having any paranormal equipment. That battery's a bit dented, actually. Um. Keep an eye out for more videos, folks, because um, with the good weather, um, I will be going out a little bit more. 
Uh, today not so good because the um, the wind is up and it's uh, it it plays plays up at my audio. You know, so um, I've been out yesterday. So if you haven't seen any of those, have a look at those. It is on. Right. Um, sweep rate. Oh yeah, when you put the sweep rate on, um, it's when you put the sweep rate on, it's um, it's on and ind indi indicates on the uh, on this panel here. Temperature setting. Uh, reverse. That's that's um sweet race. And the AM comes up in blue and the FM comes up in red. So basically basically on one side on one side how do I turn this down? On one side it's uh, AM, the other side is FM, and you can have them running um, um, together. And that, you know. Um, oh, we've got a we've got a little red light here at the big uh, at the at the top end. Uh, I don't know how useful that is. Um, oh, and then there's a a light uh, off and temperature and th this is the temperature settings um, uh, starting up there i'll have to uh, read up on that but uh, there you have my uh, there you have it my first ever internet purchase that i've done by myself um it has been a long time coming because uh, people do it every day um i just i i'm up until now being an old fashioned person and would rather go into the shop and buy things but you cannot buy these in an ordinary shop so you have to go on the internet but um I don't know what that is, right um I'm looking forward to uh, learning how to use this um, I'm not going to use it too much until I, I look up on how to use this properly and um uh, hopefully bring it along on investigations and stuff. So uh, I'll see you in the next video folks and as always be good to each other